So how do we take our products here that we've taken apart, except for the bottle, uh, which is just you know recycled good, and uh, we, we want to uh, see if we can create value by building something new out of the parts that we've taken out of all these different components here. So what we've done is uh, we've designed a new product that's kind of designed to get kids excited about math and science. And in order for all these products to work for us, we need to uh, incorporate some electronics. So we have a Arduino. Uh, it's a basically programmable chip that you can easily wire to other components. It's great for prototyping. And we have a L298 chip, which is this guy, on a uh, motor control. It's set up as a motor controller here, and uh, the motor controller comes as a, the board that you can see here comes as a kit. So we put that together, and that will allow us to control the speed and direction of motors uh, so that we can move our little bot around. And then we have a, a little sound chip here, and uh, so that allows us to uh, record and playback sound. And so we'll control everything with the Arduino. The... Uh, motor controller will let us drive motors around and then this guy will help us to, to record and play back sound and we're going to use all of the parts from these products we're going to use some of the parts from these products to make something cool so after three weeks of development we've come up with Bitsy Bot Bitsy is a little programmable robot that drives around and has a little personality you can control Bitsy with a uh, universal remote control the one that we took apart actually um, and that sends a signal right here to the uh, IR sensor and uh, then that communicates with the Arduino board and tells the Arduino board that it just got a signal and the Arduino can turn on and off different functions so we can make Bitsy do a little dance make its lights come on and uh, Bitsy has a couple of uh, switches here there's a switch here and a switch here and those came out of the the radio and then you can see the Bitsy's nose came from a bottle cap and its eyes came from a bottle cap and uh, the power for Bitsy is just some batteries um, that you can get from you know Radio Shack in, in, in a battery holder and the motors came from the hair dryer so here's one of the hair dryer motors and uh, basically we use that as a wheel to, to push Bitsy around uh, Bitsy's also got a, the ability to record and play back sound, so we use that, and you can use the remote control to trigger that function. We've also got a, a motor controller here, and that of course allows us to control the motors, the speed and direction. We've taken the camera that we took apart, we mounted to the board here, and that came out of this camera, and you can use that to uh, take photos of things, and again the Arduino controls that, and we control the Arduino with the remote control. And you can see there's a what's called a breadboard here, and that's where all the wires go uh, to basically uh, allow us to connect more things uh, to the Arduino. And we have a, a number of resistors and transistors here. The resistors uh, limit current flow, and the transistors are functioning as switches, so they allow us to control uh, different devices um, again with our with our Arduino here. So this is Bitsy, and. Uh, Bitsy has uh, got a personality. You can see Bitsy lights up and does different things when it gets its bumper pressed or when it bumps into something. So we're going to show you more about Bitsy in the next few uh, sessions.